Hey, buddy. Anyway, return of the bad weather. Return of the snow and frozen rain. Lovely. Anywho, <clears throat> we're going to look at uh, rocket stoves and pellet burners. So, uh, <clears throat> I had a viewer request, he wanted uh, some more information, he wanted some more information on this puppy, and this is the jet burner, um, it burns pellets, this burns pellets also, this one, uh, here's my rocket stove, so, it's basically a J-tube, so uh, there's a riser in here, and the riser is uh, an inch and three quarters, or almost two inches from the lid of the of the uh, bell. But anyway, this one here, this pellet burner here, <clears throat> drops in vertically, and you and it goes all the way to the bottom, and you can fill it up with pellets. And it's got uh, it's, it's tapered. And uh, it's got vents and whatnot. It's got one side cut lower than the other, so the ashes are supposed to fall out of it. <clears throat> but they don't really fall out of it that good. I think I need bigger slots and whatnot, but <clears throat> it does work. Now, here is uh, I burned, uh, I cooked some maple syrup the other day, and I burned pellets for the first little while. And then I burned some uh, some hardwood uh, sticks, some regular hardwood. And uh, this is how this is how much ash this is how much ash remains from from burning uh, about eight hours. I don't know, six or eight hours. I was cooking that uh, maple syrup. I think it was probably. Probably six hours, I'm not sure. I wasn't really keeping track. But, um, there is some ash buildup. Not enough to make the stove, not enough to bother anything, but you would want to clean it out like, if you're going to keep it like this, you'd want to clean it out more often. At like once every couple burns or once every day, perhaps. <clears throat> now, this uh, this jet burner here. I'm gonna stick it in. Probably gonna get covered in ashes if I do. But oh well. Ouch! Watch your fingers. So um, this is designed to have an ash uh, a hole in the bottom where the ashes can drop. And I most certainly. I most certainly could cut a hole in the bottom of my burn chamber and I could put a square box here. It would have to be fairly airtight, I guess. I could put a square box here and a, tr a tray, or like a drawer or a false bottom or something. Probably a drawer would be the best bet. And um, it would have to be back a little bit. And you can't go back too far because because I got this here. I never did make an ashtray for this because, uh, I don't know, it's not really that problematic just to w clean the ashes out when whenever you use it. So, uh, this way here, some not very many, but some of the ashes came out. There's not much, there's not that much. It looks worse than it really is. But uh, some of the fly ash, the heat will take it up the riser, and it'll settle in the bottom of the bell. Some of the fly ash will settle there too. So that you can clean that out just by taking the lid off. That's pretty easy. And uh, this is designed really. I never designed it with an ash clean out, so you can just stick something in there and just rake all those, pull all those ashes out. And there, it's just not that much really. Now, after burn. One of my viewers was asking me about this. 
This was designed by trying too hard, or it's kind of a variation of his design. Where um, he designed it nine inches long. This is ten inches long, but um, but the inner tube is recessed about an inch, and it, it the it's not sealed. The two uh, the two chambers are not sealed. So I have a little bit of secondary air that can come through the outside chamber. That's uh, air that goes past the fire and it mixes into the fire back into the afterburn. So uh, I had to, between the three inch pipe and the four inch pipe, that's what it is, it's two pipes. Between the three inch pipe and the four inch pipe, if you want pellets to drop down through both of those pipes, you gotta cut holes in both those pipes. So I cut a bigger hole in the outside pipe and uh, a funnel and I had to weld uh, some bolts in to separate the two chambers, the three inch pipe, because you don't want pellets falling down into the four inch pipe. You want them in the three inch pipe in the burner. So uh, a little bit of a ver different variation on his design. I sealed up most of the secondary because you don't want too much secondary air. And uh, L brackets or angle iron. Well, it sounds like somebody's here. But uh, that's it. Talk to you more on that later.